that a scented candle? With edible wax. 2010 will be good. Always wear clean underwear because you never know what could happen. Could happen. Just be careful because there's a lot of glass. Hey, Dax of Elegance. Why are you wearing that shirt? So a few days after I made my last video, recap. I'm still alive, still alive, alive. So I was driving to work. That's exactly how I drive. I'm going like 60, 65 freeway. I'm in the right lane. Median's over here. It was about two exits away from where I needed to be. Uh, when all of a sudden, my little car decided to take a little kamikaze mission. Lost control of the wheel. Car started spinning, swerving, I fishtailing. I have no idea what happened. Um, couldn't really see much because everything was like. I did see the median, the big concrete median, right in front of my car. <laughs> hit it, airbags punched me in the face, hit my head on the window, overhead compartment comes swinging down, knock me in the side of the head. Um, and then if that weren't awesome enough, my car then decided to flip over. So <laughs> anyway, somehow this didn't involve other cars at all, by the way. So anyways, cars upside down, I can't see anything. And I'm, I thought I had rolled down the side of the freeway because it was a drop off. Thank God I was wearing my seatbelt because, so I'm upside down and I'm like hanging, hanging. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be in this car anymore. I have no idea where I am. And uh, things explode in movies. So I want to get out. So instead of waiting, I took it upon myself to get out of the car. So I released my safety belt, fell to the ceiling of the car, what the heck, and then <laughs> army crawled my way out of the smashed driver's side window. I had actually crawled out onto the shoulder. There was a guy that was already stopped, you know, pulled over on the shoulder, and he's running towards me like, oh my god. You know, I just crawled out of the car, and I'm like, well, hold, hold, hold that thought. I've, my purse is still in there. I have to go get it. So I army crawled back into the car, grabbed my purse, brought it back out, and I'm like, I need to call work. I need to call my family. I'm looking at my purse, and I noticed that both my personal and my work cell phones are gone. So I'm like, okay, I need to go back in there again because my phones are in there. The guy like grabs me. Your car is upside down. You are bleeding from your hands and mouth. The fire department will get it for you. That's when I actually looked at my car and then went hysterical because holy crap. So when you're on the ambulance, you know, and they've got you totally stabilized, you can't move at all. And they keep asking you, are, are you in pain? And you're like, I don't know because I might be from my car deciding to do a little Olympic gymnastics act or it might be from the fact that you have me on like a, like a two by four, four by four or a two by four. I am not Tim the Tool Man, but they've got you on this board, this totally completely flat hard board. Anyways, you're on the ambulance <laughs> and I'm like shaking, convulsing, I guess from all the adrenaline or something. Um, and I couldn't control it. So anyways, we go from the ambulance and then all of a sudden we're in a trauma center at a hospital and all I, you know, I've got like this neck thing on. So all I can see is like, you know, just this. And all of a sudden I am out of nowhere surrounded by like four, five, six, maybe more, I don't know, doctors. And in the span of like 2.4 seconds, they are taking every, every piece of jewelry, every thread of clothing that is on your body is getting ripped off of you. Every little thread, everything off. And if they can't get something off of you quick enough for their liking, they cut it off with a scissors. And no, 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 not up a side seam, right up the middle. And this was the shirt I was wearing that they had to cut off of me. <laughs> And I'm lying there like... Is this really necessary? Trust me, I'm a doctor. Yeah, 
story of my life. Any pride that you thought you had, wave bye bye to it because they are poking pride all over the place. And you know, I'm a single girl. It's winter. I don't need to shave my legs all the time. So there's a little bit of the worst of my injuries was a fractured rib. Um, I think I got pretty lucky. So wear your damn seat belts. Anyway, so the whole shirt thing, I loved that shirt. I bought it, um, I bought it like a year ago. I was so mad when they cut it up. So my mom, who by the way is like obsessed with me and my haircut. Hello, found it and a year later and bought it for me. So thanks mom. Just a quick thing. Okay, about a year and a half ago, I brought this up. A napkin from Starbucks. This is what it says on the bottom. And uh, Starbucks, a year and a half later, your napkins still say, less napkins, more plants, more planet, less napkins. Fewer napkins is what I believe we're looking for. If you can count it, it's fewer. If you cannot count it, it's less. Less time, fewer hours. You can count hours, you can't count time. Less paper, you can't count paper. You can count pieces of paper. So like you could say less napkin, like napkin material. You can't count napkin, but you can count napkins. Fewer. Yeah, also, I went to Scottsdale recently and I saw this on an advertisement at the airport. Got questions? Yeah, I'm not coming to you. What is that? 